Hey everybody, this is Rishi Agrawal, and in this video I just wanted to show you a quick case that I see really commonly, but people make mistakes on it over and over again. Clinicians will misdiagnose it, residents will misdiagnose it, and even occasionally radiology attendings will misdiagnose it. And so I want you to take a look at this chest x-ray, and you can pause the video right here if you need to, and see what you would say about it. Imagine for a second that you're a radiology resident and the ED physician calls you because they're concerned about a pneumothorax on the right side. Would you call this a pneumothorax? So I hope you said that this is not a pneumothorax. This is a skin fold, but it gets mistaken for a pneumothorax all the time. And let me give you four reasons why this is a skin fold and not a pneumothorax. The first reason is that this line right here is actually mimicked two other times, right here and right here. And it doesn't make sense for those second and third lines to be a pneumothorax because one is positioned over the mediastinum. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is that if you follow this line superiorly, it starts to fade off and you actually don't see it over here. A pneumothorax will be visible all the way to the apex. It won't just fade away like a skin fold will. The third reason, and let me zoom this up here, is that out past that line, we could still see that there are lung markings lateral to that line. So if there's lung markings lateral to the line, then it can't be a pneumothorax. The fourth reason is that a pneumothorax is going to be demarcated by a very thin radio-opaque line that represents the visceral pleura. In this case, we don't have a radio-opaque line. Instead, we have a radiolucent line. And what that represents is air that's trapped in between two folds of skin. Okay, so I don't want you to make this mistake of calling a skin fold a pneumothorax. You want to always, number one, make sure that you're looking at a opaque line, not a lucent line. Number two, you want to see no lung markings past the line. And then number three, a real pneumothorax should not fade away like a skin fold will. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, this is, this is the second case. What would you say about this one? Is this a skin fold or is this a pneumothorax? Let me make it bigger here. Okay, I hope all of you said skin fold because this is a skin fold again and not a pneumothorax. So why is this a skin fold and not a pneumothorax? Well, the main reason is that this is not a radio-opaque line. This is a radiolucent line, and lateral to this line, although it's subtle, we still see very fine lung markings. Also, let me just get rid of those lines. Also notice that if you follow this line up, it doesn't continue upwards. It sort of just fades away. And that's another sign that we're looking at a skin fold and not a pneumothorax. Let's look at one last case. This is the third case, and I've zoomed in on the area of interest. Is this a pneumothorax or a skin fold? This is a pneumothorax because what we have here is a very thin radio opaque line that represents the visceral pleura and on either side of that is lucency in the pleural space and lucency of the lung. What you'll also notice is that there are no lung markings out lateral to this line and that you can see the line continuing all the way to the apex. It doesn't just fade away like a skin fold. Thanks very much. I hope you don't make the same mistake that so many other people make when looking at these cases. If you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments below.